the elder board, you know, the, the, the Bible tells us to give honor to where honor is due, right? Yeah, yeah. And the, the elder board is uh, elected to uh, the pastors to pastor emeritus, all right? And what that means is pastor emeritus is a position granted by a church to show honor to the retiring pastors. Emeritus is a last a Latin is Latin for someone who has fulfilled his or her requirements and commitments. Amen. And I think they have done that yes. successfully, Amen. don't you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we got this this plaque also for them, and I'd like to read this. Pastor Emeritus. Whereas Dr. Robert Proctor and his wife Linda are retiring as lead pastors of Southwest Christian Center, Church of God at Bakersfield, California, on January 12, 2020. Let it be known, in honor of his 34 years of faithful and dedicated ministry here, that we, the Elder Board, on behalf of the congregation, do declare Dr. Robert Proctor and Pastor, or as Pastor Emeritus. This is a high honor for Linda and myself to be able to uh, have these acknowledgments. The greatest title that I've ever thought that I would appreciate is the word pastor. Because the word pastor from the Greek word poeme means shepherd. Now I'm an under shepherd. My wife is an under shepherd. We follow the chief shepherd, Jesus Christ. All glory goes to him. All praise goes to him. Whatever has been accomplished has not been because of our efforts, but by his divine guidance. And we pray for you all every day and we will not cease to pray because my position and our position changes we will keep you in our prayers because you have captivated our hearts and you and ours okay all right she already said it it's you know no i remember that i just thought maybe you want to add something to it because uh this is your last shot. <laughs> she says, you don't know that. Thank you very much. What an honor. Last shot. <laughs> Brother Matt, he is our newest member of our elder board. <clears throat> has the last presentation. I'm the newest and the youngest. I just want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of the Elder Board, we want to give you guys a, a love token. You know, that for all your many years of service, you know, I, I'm, I'm not very much of an emotional person, but the pastor's always been there for me, always. I grew up in the church. We started coming here when I was 10 years old. And he's been in and out of the hospital with my grandma, you know how many times. Was there when my wife had back surgery. You can call him any time of the day or night, and he's always there for you. You know, I don't, I don't know two people that deserve retirement more. They, they, they've always been there. The years of, of work, 24/7. I mean, you look at what a pastor does, and you think, oh, they only have to go to work on Sundays and Wednesdays. But he's, he's there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. It probably felt like 400, especially going with me. <laughs> and I got to tell you, you know, Pastor and Linda, they can't go anywhere. They can't. Bishop O'Neill won't let him because the new pastor doesn't know how to handle me yet. <laughs> so he, he's got to he's got to take one of the wing and show him what to do. But but Pastor and Linda, they've always been there, and thank you for all of your many years of service. I mean, you guys, you guys have been. I mean, how many pastors can say they've been in a church over 30 years? That that in alone is. is
34 years is a long time. Yeah. Stacy, we wrote this song back in 1987. We were five. Uh, four. <laughs> well, I was four, you were five. By 26. Two months and 26, 26 days. Yeah. Well, um, as Pastor said last week, when Stacy spoke, this is his spiritual daughter. I'm sorry, well, two weeks ago when Stacy spoke, this is his spiritual daughter. And when we went back on a trip to Illinois back in 1997, God put this song on our hearts, and this happens to be my dad's favorite of our songs. So our last time singing this for the pastors, Robert and Linda Proctor. But now, Dad, you can be in my choir. I just thought about that when we were singing. I'm like, I got a new choir member. And Mom, you're always welcome to join us in our choir when your voice is back. Worship with us as we sing that's not all. <laughs> The sky so blue, the sun so bright, the ocean sea, and the stars at night, but that's not a home. That's not a home. You made the grass so green, sun, the trees so strong. They're sweet, sweet songs, but that's not all. That's not all. And I, I want to sing for you.
retired, but he still has a boss. <laughs> Dr. Sean O'Neill, our state administrative bishop, is uh, his supervisor, his boss. So he still has somebody to give an account to. <laughs> Dr. Sean O'Neill is going to come at this time and has a presentation and some things to say. He's not going to preach, but he's going to have some things to say. <laughs> Let's just honor Brother Hooker today. <laughs> Brother Hooker is a tremendous statesman. And uh, him and sister, he and Sister Hooker have been tremendous leaders in the kingdom. And now uh, we have this incredible couple, Dr. Robert and Linda Proctor, who is not only retiring, but he is a statesman as well. And I will say this for the hooker. Yes, Bob has a boss. And her name is Linda. <laughs> <laughs> Amen? Amen? You know, this is, it can be a very tearful time anytime a transition happens with someone you love. And 34 years, wow, 30 plus years, incredible. Yes, amen. It's just amazing, especially in today's culture. Uh, pastors typically transition often and don't stick around for a number of years. But Bob Proctor and Linda are not only faithful leaders, but they're heroes. And they're ministers of the gospel in a very powerful way. And shockingly enough, he's retiring, but he's already on the road. I don't know if he got an RV already, but they're headed to Porterville next Sunday to preach and um, be a roaming evangelist, maybe in retirement. The key with that is uh, you don't have to be there every week. Right. And as I shared often, pastoral ministry is wonderful and it's fulfilling. However, it never ends. It is seven days a week, 168 hours, 24 each day, 365 days a year, and well, every few years, 366. And it is, you can preach the greatest sermon on the planet on Sunday, as Pastor Bob always does. But then when that sermon is over and that service is over, the thing that hits most pastors, just about all of us, is next Sunday's coming. Uh -huh. Amen? Yes, amen. And so it is, uh, it is a tedious, uh, often dauntless task to pastor a church and to be at this church, to lead you for 34 years, is an amazing, yes. amazing, awesome feat. And so today, we want to honor uh, Pastor Bob, Dr. Robert Proctor, and Linda, and we have some gifts for them. And so I'm going to ask them to come. Linda, we have this beautiful plaque, I'm mean, sorry, roses for you. And um, Your jacket matches the roses. Yeah. <laughs> um, we love you, Linda. And you're amazing and incredible. And you're so gracious. And so we want to present these roses to you. Um, there may be 11 of them because we know you're the 12th rose. But if there's 12, 12 of them, just know that you're the rose of Bob's life. <laughs> and we honor you and bless you. We also have a presentation today, in, and I'm going to read this to you, and then I'll record it here. There we go. Um, it says, Resolution of Appreciation to Reverend Dr. Robert Wayne Proctor from California, Nevada Church of God. Whereas Dr. Robert Wayne Proctor has served the Church of God with distinction as a credentialed minister of the gospel since February 25, 1969, 
becoming an ordained bishop on March 10, 1978. His ministry as a faithful servant of Jesus Christ, a pastor, teacher, chaplain, spiritual father, a Christian role model, and an apostolic leader is honorable and exemplary. And whereas he has served the church of God with value in a spirit of love and integrity, having fulfilled his duties and ministerial calling with honor and excellence as senior pastor in Indiana, Illinois, Florida, Tennessee, and California, as State Youth and Discipleship Director for Kansas and Missouri, as District Overseer, as State Ministerial Director, and as Chaplain for Bakersfield Fire Department and Kern County Sheriff's Department. And whereas he is to be commended for his tireless service to God and people, communicating the gospel and seeing life transformation reflected by more than 4,900 sermons he preached and by his bearing witness to the more than 1,286 people who gave their lives to Jesus Christ through salvation. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the California Nevada Church of God expresses its deepest gratitude and honor to Reverend Dr. Robert Wayne Proctor for his servant leadership and sacrificial ministry. And we pray God's abundant blessings on him and his continued service in the kingdom of God. Now, there are many more things we couldn't put on here, so they're on the back page. <laughs> but um, seriously, Dr. Proctor has served perennially every time available, and his tenure would allow as a member of the State Council for California and Nevada Church of God. He served as a member, a member of the State Youth and Discipleship Board uh, for many years, and he is just an incredible, incredible leader. We all know he has an earned doc doctoral degree from Azusa Pacific University, an earned master's degree. And in our day of many people receive doctoral degrees that are honorary, uh, Dr. Proctor earned his doctoral degree. He is a man of great wisdom and strength and humility and grace. Amen. And Dr. Proctor, we honor you today and we bless you. And I will say this, he's my friend. And I love you, Bob. I love you, Linda. We love you. We also have this, this card. Um, it's a beautiful card. And we actually signed it. I don't know. Um, you know, cards cost a lot of money today. Y'all might notice that. But we, we picked out this beautiful card, but there's a gift inside as well, so we'll give that to Linda. <laughs> We want to pray. And so, Cheryl's fixing it. I will share with you, I apologize. Cheryl's going to stick around because she's the better half of me. I, I've been growing a beard a little bit. And Bob asked me, he said, Well, uh, what's this going on? I said, Well, Cheryl said she likes it. He said, Oh, she wants to cover up your face. <laughs> <laughs> you know your pastor. You know your pastor. Yeah. He loves to make jokes and, and cut up. And, uh, but Lauren is here, our daughter, in this beautiful, I don't know what color that is. Fusion? Something. Okay. So, Lauren is going back to Lee, and then I have to be at a meeting that I've been called to in Cleveland tomorrow morning at 9.30. So we have to drive to Los Angeles Airport and negotiate that world, which is crazy. So we're going to slip out a little bit. Um, and so I'll just let you know that. So if you see me leave, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm not upset. Uh, <clears throat> Cheryl and I love Bob and Linda Proctor very, very much. We love you. Yeah. And we care about you. And they have been so sensitive to making sure that the church is well <laughs> and covered. And we prayed earnestly and diligently 
for a successor to the proctors that will lead you and love you and care for you and guide you. And they have been involved in this process as well. And we're excited about the future. Nobody can replace them. But it will be a, a new season and, and a different season. And they're going to come back and hang out and be part of this church as Pastor Emeritus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but the, the yeah, I have an addition from the overseer of the bishop is don't bother them with anything but love and grace and peace. And they'll pray. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because they're retired. And they just want to enjoy life. And uh, they enjoyed life before, but they're going to enjoy life differently. <laughs> Amen? Amen, yes. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to stand with me. I'm really in this congregation. And, um, <clears throat> and I want to ask you to do this at the end of this service. Don't leave before you hug them and love on them again. <laughs> and uh, they'll be back, I know. They're, they're going to be gone a little bit, a few weeks, and hang out. Probably go on three cruises and maybe a, <laughs> uh, a safari or something. I don't know. Uh, we want you to pray for them. We want you to love them. And so today I want to pray for them and I want to pray for you. Amen? Amen? So I begin by praying for the church. Father, we pray today for Southwest Christian Center. God, I pray for every family, every child, every adult, every parent, every grandparent, every single person, every married person, every man and woman, God, right here in this congregation. We pray for those that are hurting and struggling. We pray for those that are in the hospital. God, I pray for Brother Bailey who is in the hospital in Los Angeles. We pray for a miracle for his life. We pray for a divine anointing, healing miracle for his lungs and his body. We pray for Stacy, heal her body. We pray for everyone in this congregation, God, love and peace and grace and strength. And God, I pray that a fresh anointing be upon this group, this church, leading into the future. Because we know, God, the greatest legacy for a pastor is that the church grows and the church goes forward and the church thrives. And God, I know Bob and Linda Proctor designed desire earnestly and have been praying earnestly and diligently that Southwest Christian Center would advance and grow and reach this city for Jesus in a new, fresh way as they hand off the baton, the mantle. And God, we pray today that there would be salvations and revival and anointing and, and blessing, jobs and better jobs, life and power and hope, health, victory, in the name of Jesus. And God, as we pray for Bob and Linda today, Pastor, Dr. Robert Proctor, and Linda Proctor, Reverend Linda Proctor, God, we pray a fresh anointing on them today. God, I pray an anointing of just renewal, fresh <laughs> word, fresh power, fresh grace. God, a new season of mentoring and coaching and leading. I pray, God, there would be a Holy Ghost unction in this season of preaching an anointing to bless pastors, to bless churches. And God, I pray that you would give them a refreshing. The burden is released for them to be every Sunday preparing a new sermon. Yes. But God, I pray today that you would refresh them, give them strength and health and life I pray, God, you would heal Bob's body. Help them to feel better than they felt in 30 years. Yes. Strength and life and power. Amen. Anointing, Lord. Refreshing. Pour out your balm of Gilead. Your anointing. Your waters from living waters. In Jesus' name. God, I pray for their family today. Grandchildren. Someday great-grandchildren. Children, God, I pray You're anointing upon them now. God, let this family be blessed beyond their wildest dream. 
Blessed beyond anything they can imagine. Blessed financially. Blessed physically. Blessed spiritually. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the power of your Holy Spirit we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. amen. Oh, put your hands together and just put some Be sure to pray for their safety. Dr. O'Neill and his wife Cheryl, they are very committed, uh, you may be seated, very committed to the state, to the church, to the state. And Dr. O'Neill has known this church very well. He's preached here years ago when he was in his administrative work on the state. And then even when he was uh, in charge of the state of Arizona, he came back and preached a revival. He's very familiar with this church. He loves this church, speaks highly of this church. And so as we um, uh, prepare to transition, I, I'm honored that uh, he took time to be able to be here with us. And I think that uh, uh, that's commendable of him. He's a very caring um, Bailey, uh, that's Glenda's grandson, was in the hospital. I called him to see if there was a pastor close by. He says, I'm over here in Burbank. I'll get an Uber and go over. And he was there with him as they went into that surgery. And that's the kind of man he is. He has, he's an administrative bishop. He administrative bishop with a pastor's heart. He loves and cares about uh, people. And he is a people person. And so uh, I just want to express my appreciation to you and uh, to uh, say not only to him, but also to Pastor Hooker and the Oak Board, uh, the honor that you have bestowed upon us is, uh, is something that we will cherish all of the rest of our lives. Um, we, we love you. In 1986, on the last Sunday of August, we came to this church. I was the fourth pastor in 13 months. Uh, they just took care of things when I got here, you know. And the first Sunday morning, that I stood up here in this pulpit, I said to that congregation that were there at that time, I love you. Now they looked at me, and of course, having gone through three previous pastors in here, they thought to themselves, okay. And for the first seven years I was here, every week I got a call from one of the, uh, the charter members of the church saying, Pastor, uh, uh, are you staying with us? When it was a state meeting, and Pastor, are you going to trade churches? And finally, after seven years, I told her, I said, Well, Gladys, if I was going to leave, I'd have left before now. I said, I think you need to realize that I'm not I'm not going nowhere. And she said, Well, I'll take your word for it. And that's the last thing she ever said. And if you, some of you remember Gladys, you know what kind of person she was. She was a great woman. But uh, here I am, and uh, Gladys, you're in heaven, but I can't work. I said, and we and so that has not changed our love for you. We love you all. Let's continue to worship the Lord as uh, they need to worship in song. 